Hi everyone, welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And today's project is a request from one of our subscribers. She asked if I would do the stone fence, well the stone bridge from project series six. So I'm happy to do that. And by the way, please send me your requests. I love that. And uh, if there's something you're struggling with or you just wanna see me demo one of the images in your set, feel free to put that in the comments that um, you would like me to include that in one of the videos so I'm happy to do that so today's project is the stone bridge and it's actually from project series 6 so project series 6 set 1 the large stone bridge so I'm going to do that one and I'm also going to include these long stems that are part of this set so these two items and of course we're going to need our staples so three things from the foliage set the two grasses the vine and in the flower set, we're gonna use the little tiny wildflowers, so the little tiny dots. Okay, so we're ready to get going. And the first thing I'm going to do is stamp the basic image. So I've got the bridge here, and I really want it to look sort of gray. So I wanna use um, a combination of the two. So I'm really glad she requested this project because I can show you that you can combine the sepia and the number 86, and you can get this really cool gray color. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink it with the number 86, and that's the African Violet. So I'm gonna ink this up and then I'm gonna stamp it off. So I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna stamp it off on another sheet of watercolor paper, and probably twice because my ink, uh, my pen is pretty wet. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna turn it over, I'm not gonna clean it off, and I'm, now I'm gonna add the sepia. So I'm just gonna put the sepia right over the top of that blue color. Okay, now I'm gonna stamp it on my watercolor paper somewhere in the center, and we're gonna have a really nice color. So the first step, pull the color out of the line. So I dip my brush, pinch it off, and I'm gonna start by dragging the color out. And just call, kind of follow the lines. The darkest color is gonna be underneath the bricks. So keep that in mind as you're dragging the color over. You don't have to get them all. But keep in mind that the shadow will be underneath. So just kind of follow the lines. And if you can see on the video, it's a little bluish gray color, which I really like. Follow all these lines here. This under here, of course, is gonna be really dark. And actually behind this little arch here also. And see, I haven't really dipped my brush Again, just kind of following all these lines. Now when you go to do the rocks, the rocks will have a highlight on the top. So you wanna keep the color concentrated on the bottom and make sure that you leave the top of the rocks uncolored. Always think about the sun being directly overhead and that just means this white border on the top. You'll always be much happier if you don't color things in solid. And I'm gonna, I've got some color on my palette. This is the 86 blue and the, um, the 72 green. So I'm just gonna take some of this color, the blue, and darken that in underneath here. Okay? So now the next step, even with these images, is to drag the color to the outside. So we're gonna pull some of this color out now. We still want this effect of the background. So just drag some of this out. And you can see when you're doing that, you'll be able to see the two colors from the, uh, the original stamped image, which is really cool. So I'm just dragging some of this out here. Don't stress about this. This is like the easiest thing to do. And, and what you're doing is you're actually, you're touching the line and the color will sort of bleed out and you're taking that color and dragging it out. So you're not coloring along the lines. You're not brushing along the lines. Does that make sense? I hope. Okay, there we go. It's starting to look like a watercolor painting. Now I'm gonna take some of this blue and you wanna keep your hands straight. When you're doing water, you wanna keep your hands straight, straight lines. The minute you 
Uh, get an angle in here, it's not gonna look like water. So brush this in. Just straight lines. And you can come around the rocks a little bit here. This kind of depends on what you want to do. You can end the water anywhere you want to end it. And so we've got that. Now, underneath the bridge is gonna be really dark. So we wanna make sure that we get this dark color directly underneath. Okay, so far so good. Let's add some uh, grasses now and some vines to it. That's always the fun part, the foliage. So I'm going to uh, take my vine, add it to the block here. And I'm using the pine green. So again, I'm only using half of the stamp. I don't need the whole thing. And remember the sequence of five. So important, one, two, three, four, five. Remember, it doesn't matter that you get it exactly in the right place as much as it matters that you get it in there five times, at least five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna add water to it. And just dab. Drag this color in here. So easy. You can pull the green clear into the, the bricks of the bridge. Okay, now we're gonna come in with a small grass. So the little tiny grass, and we're just gonna, the, the bridge is actually on a hill. So we wanna show that the, the way that the land comes down. So we're gonna, we're gonna ink this. And remember, you can go any direction with your grasses. And we're just gonna kinda come down the hill. And down here, both sides. And you can see how that's starting to take shape. Pull the color out of the lines. Easily done. By the time you've stamped this grass a bunch of times, you've, you've got it. Super easy. Okay, I'm gonna take a little green now from my palette and I'm gonna put something in the background here because we can see through this bridge so we can see the ground to the other side. So I wanna make sure we're adding some of that in here and back here. Just brush that in with your brush. There we go. So now let's add the, the tall grass in the foreground So I'm gonna put that on my little block here. Ink this up. And we're just coming down in front. So remember to walk it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All the way across. And you can go up a little bit up the hill. Add the water and pull the color up. Remember, this is when you can use the brush stroke is when you're doing the grass. Otherwise, we're just dabbing at the color. So just drag this all the way up and out. You can add a little green in here as well. We're gonna add some flowers in here. Okay, so let's put our long stems in. Long stems come with a set. I love these little guys, they're so cute. They're actually next to each other. So we wanna ink them in two colors. This is the African Violet. And the green, so two colors on here. And we're gonna stamp them in a sequence of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And again, you 
ink the blooms, ink the stems, and stamp it five times. One, two, three, four, five. You don't need to add any water to the stems. Just hit the little blooms, and a little bit goes a long ways. When you just touch these little flowers, the color just sort of activates, becomes way more intense, and that's what we're looking for. So you just have to touch it. No brush strokes. And you can see the light ones are really important as well as the dark ones, so make sure you get them all. Just touch them. That looks pretty good. So let's add our little dots here, our little guys. These projects are so quick and easy. This one especially is really quick. That's the whole point of this um, of this line of stamping is that it's quick and easy. It doesn't take very many stamps. It certainly doesn't take very many markers. And you can do these so quickly. So the little dots, again, we're only inking a few. And we're just gonna kinda come over the top of the grass. Remember, try to get it in there at least five times. One, two, three, four, five. You can add a little bit of water to it if you want to, or you can just leave the, uh, the sharper image up to you. So cute. You can add a little grass back in here if you want to. put that back on there and get a little of this grass in the background. That's going to add a little more dimension as well. You can drag that clear into the water. Uh, if you want a little sky, take a little bit of color from your palette and just brush a little on. Don't have to stress out about this. The same number 86. Let's make sure we have a dark shadow underneath the bridge. And let's make sure this is really dark in here. You can come back in to the rocks and down in these cracks you can add a little more color. Remember the tops need to have that highlight so we don't want to add a lot of color there. Let's just put a line under here. And it's looking pretty good. Our little stone bridge is finished. Be sure to send me your uh, requests. I'd love to do any projects that you would like to see a visual of. And there you have it. We need a sign and date. And thanks so much for watching. See you next week.